parents are scrambling to find other schools for their kids after the abrupt shutdown of a private school in Miami. This is a story we first brought to you yesterday at 5. Alipad Winwood School is closed till further notice. CBS 4's Terry Hornstein tells us how frustrated parents are coping and how Miami-Dade schools are stepping up to help. The Miami-Dade Public School behind me is just one of the schools taking in new students. After about 150, we're left with no place to learn. The parents frustrated. Some say they'll continue this fight. And you really have to feel for the students who suddenly have to readjust. Sad and frustrated, mad, angry. Ten-year-old Joshua Trevino describes what he and his classmates are feeling after their school, Alapata Winwood, shut down. When I saw my other friends, they were also sad because they, they also wanted to go to school. On Tuesday morning, his mom took him to the Miami-Dade School District to put in his paperwork for a transfer to his public home school. But he says he's sad he won't be able to go back where he's been learning for years. I've been with them for like six years already. And then I'm already going to another school and never going to meet them again. Parents also upset, frustrated, protesting the closure. Parents were called and told that the school was going to be open. Then they came here and it was closed. So it's not fair. Parents say they got a letter last month that noticed the school would be shut down. The private school is run by a family. The closure because of a family feud. The assistant principal says he was let go by family in December. My father, Herbert Fonseca Sr., uh, is the president of this uh, corporation. Uh, as we speak, I have no access to him. Miami-Dade School says they're registering students at several local schools and will accept them all. We're going to get their kids, we're going to get their beautiful children uh, in school right away. Meanwhile, parents left scrambling in the middle of the school year. You should have the best interest of the children at hand, the best interest of the school that would be to be open, to remain open. In Miami, Terry Hornstein, CBS 4 News.